Hello Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley and I am here with a download for you guys. As you come in, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified of future reads. Everything you need to know about me will be in the description. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night. Um, I have a download, you guys. Um, this is going to be a karmic family read. This is going to be for the chosen ones, the black sheep. Okay, the divine beings, the chosen black sheep. Okay, um, yeah, so the download, and please uh, keep in mind this is general for the black sheep, for the chosen ones. So, like, every little aspect may not resonate. So, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, and um, so the download I got is karmic family. Uh, your karmic family is your secret enemies. Heavy emphasis on uh, heavy emphasis on secret. Okay, and the reason why I say heavy emphasis on secret because a lot of you chosen ones, you were born into you were born you were un, you were unknowingly born into. Uh, a karmic family, okay? Not saying everyone in your family is a karmic. For a lot of us chosen ones, I can say that that's the case for me. For a lot of chosen ones, we deal with our our whole family coming against us, okay? That's what black sheep go, go through. You being a chosen black sheep, I feel like you, that's something you, uh, that that's something that you went through. That's something you are going going through. And the reason why I said uh, big emphasis on secret enemies, because these family members, I was picking up the energy of these family members being fake, being uh, unloyal and very inauthentic. These uh, family members are not authentic. They, are, they aren't truthful with themselves, okay? And um, what I was picking up, is they are just they are afraid to be your enemy all right and the reason why these these karmic family members would secretly hate secretly talk about you behind your back secretly betray you is because they are afraid to be your enemy it's something that these family members your fake family is intimidated of um, in regards to you. And for a lot of you, this this could be your aura that they intimidated by. You someone with a strong personality. You speak your mind. Um, it could be your energy. It could be the uh, how real and raw and transparent you are. Okay. And um, a lot of these, and for a lot of you, it's just you are you are someone very unique. You're, when you were born into this karmic family, you always felt out of place. You always felt like you was adopted or you didn't belong. That's because you are unique. You are star C, you rare, okay? You, you, you have a totally different DNA from your, your physical family on this earth, all right? And, um, it's, that's, they, th these karmics fear what they don't understand. They don't, they vibrate low. They, they're, they vibrate on a low frequency. So when you are born into these karmic families, you are born with this light instilled inside of you from God, from the most high. Okay. And these karmics, they are low vibrating souls, low vibrating entities. And what, what do demons cannot stand the light? All right, that's what I'm saying. Demons cannot stand the light. And like I said, these karmics, they fear what they don't understand. A lot of these karmics and your family, they they scared to be your enemy because they they highly is something about you that intimidates these people. And this is something you picked up your, yourself too. All right. And um these karmic families, family members, your karmic family members, they are lost souls, all right? They are lost souls. And they they are karmic. And they are secret enemies. Like, it's, I'm picking up, it, this is just sick to me. Like, I ain't even started reading yet, but... 
Okay, what I was getting when I said heavy emphasis on secret, I was picking up the moon card uh, and that's Cancer and Pisces energy. So this is going to be very specific. So someone here, so a Cancer or Pisces in your family, a feminine energy um, has has been is someone that's she this is he or she i said she so it could be a she this is someone that smiles in your face okay this is someone this is someone that acts that just smile in your face act as, as if everything is is cool and this could be someone that secretly hates you that secretly don't like you because of your it could like i said your energy your aura your because you unique because your realness and i feel like a lot of these, a lot of the reason why uh, for a lot of you, your whole family has came against you for a lot of chosen ones. That's what we do with some of you. It, it wasn't your whole family. OK, take it where it resonates. But for a lot of you, your whole family came against you. And the reason why this family came against you, because since you were younger, you have always been the uh, unique. You have always been rare. You ha have always been different. And this karmic family, they just couldn't put their finger on what made you so different okay what what made you so so unique so rare and for a lot of you these karmic family members the reason why they became how they became secret enemies is because ever since you were younger these family members grew a deep-seated hate and jealousy for you because of the light you carry because of your aura, your energy, because you are chosen. And they felt this. They couldn't quite put their finger on it, but they felt this. They felt that they knew it was something special about you. That's why uh, for a lot of you, your whole family came gang stalking, coming against you. Um, and like I said, you're the chosen black sheep. And this is how they treated you. All right. So, yeah. This is uh this is the energy, you guys. Uh your karmic family is your secret enemies. They have been your secret enemies. I'm hearing for for a lot for a while now. Moon card energy. This has this has been a secret. This is something that was kept in the shadows. This is something they didn't reveal. And your karmic family too, they they operate operate out of their shadow side. Okay. These karmics, they are not divine at all. They have a lot of unhealed wounds. That don't make them a karmic, though. But what makes them a karmic is the fact that for a lot of you, your family, a lot of motherfuckers in your family let the devil use them to come against you because you chosen. All right? That's what makes them karmic. And the fact that they hating on a divine being, want to come against someone chosen, want to, um, I don't know, I just, you the black sheep of your family, and that's just that. You the black sheep, you the rare one, you the unique one. You the one that they always sit around and talk about. Benevolent ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you give me clear channel messages for my divine collective. I also ask that you protect me as I open myself up to different energies. Thank you, Ashe. All right. <clears throat> yeah, guidance at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you have already been guided Spirit already guided you away from this karmic family. A lot of you, I was here too. You could have told someone to lose your number or you could have blocked somebody. Um, I don't know why I just heard that, but so you could have blocked someone or told somebody to lose your number or something. Okay. Uh, what's the energy spirit? But yeah, these karmic uh, family members, they don't understand why you so... Why are you so rare? What, what makes you so special? It's your energy. You always carry this within you. That's why ever since you was younger, it was uh, it was family members that just grew this hate for you. Even the ones that stayed smiling in your face, they were scared to be your enemies because they really fear you. It's something about you, your karmic family fear to the point where they know not to come up against you. That's why they do shit behind your back. Because they some pussies. Excuse my language. That's just coward shit. Like, okay. 
we got the energy that popped out is invite help and inner child. I can't make this up, y'all. Every since you were a child, it's been something. These your karmic family knew you were special. They knew you were chosen. They knew it was something. It, it was something unique about you. And a lot of your karmic family, they they shined you for this. They resented you for this. They grew jealous. Okay, they grew envious of a fucking child, bro. And even at you growing up, you being an adult now, it carried over to that. Because like I said, these, these karmas, they have a lot of unhealed wounds. They have a lot of inner child wounds they never dealt with. And a lot of your, your karmic family, they love to scapegoat and project their energy onto you. Project they fucked up energy onto you because they are unhealed. Because they not taking the initiative to heal the trauma. Their trauma. It's a dog barking. Wow, a dog could be significant. I don't know how. <laughs> but you guys can have a dog. I don't know. But uh, wow, with this invite help, yes. And with every, with every since you were a child, you always, you, you always, God always had his hands on you. God always had his hands on you. Okay? And I'm picking up two. I'm picking up two. Someone here, someone here, you may be struggling when it comes to uh, healing from, from trauma that you dealt with, with dealing with this family, this karmic family. These, this, karmic, these karmic, this karmic family, they made you feel unworthy. They made you feel like an outsider. They made you feel like you ain't belong. You see how he alone? They made they made you feel like like you wasn't a part of this family. You always I, some of you always felt like you were uh like you were um adopted. Like you you were the just the total opposite of this family. You always felt isolated. You always was made to feel like you were alone, okay? And like a lot of you guys, you are still dealing with inner childhood wounds that this karmic family has caused you. All the projection for a lot of you, you had karmic your karmic family ever since you was a child projecting negative energy onto you. But you see how this baby is just like in a in the middle of this this beautiful blue flower here, okay, you have God always had had like kept you in His shield. You always been shield since you was a child because you are the chosen one. And a lot of you, I was gonna say, y'all, you could be having, you could be struggling with healing your inner child. You could be struggling with um, getting on your self love journey. Um, um, having your spiritual awakening and just getting over what these fucked up family members did to you in your childhood and God, your angels, your spirit guys, they want you to know they are here. Oh, uh, they they want they want call away. They want call away. Only thing you have to do is pray to the most high, pray to your angels, whoever you resonate with, whoever you resonate with, okay? They they telling you they here, invite the help. Okay, uh, some of you, you, you find it hard, you find it challenging to heal from these wounds. It's not easy. And healing is an ongoing process. You're never going to be fully done healing. Okay. All right. And spirit is saying, I can't make this shit up. Awakening. Awakening. A, a lot of you guys are going, you are awakening to some truth. You are going, or you could, you are awakening to something. But yeah, spirit is saying, just accept what you cannot change, okay? Accept what you cannot change. And yeah, your inner don't is spirit is saying invite help, but when it comes to this karmic family member, these karmic uh karmic family accept that these people are who they are. Accept that these are karmic family members. That's only purpose was to try to stop you. Accept that you have awoken to the truth. You have awoken to these karmic families. You have awoken to the fact that these karmic family members were your are your secret enemies. They they all I'm hearing they always like you and you guys felt this too. A lot of you guys, you was born with the gift of discernment and intuition. You always felt like like something was off. You always felt like this. Like that these 
that uh, the, this karmic family really didn't fuck with you like that. That they that it was all fake love. A lot of you guys felt like when they did show a little love or emotions or whatever, it was all fake. It was all like scripted. Okay. Because like I said, that's the energy I was picking up that th this, th this karmic family is very, they fake, like they, they not authentic. They not their real self. They, they are, they, they wear a mask. Okay. They mask who they really are. And uh, for a lot of you, they've been, they've been hiding who they really are from you for years. But like I said, you, you are being awakened. You are being awakened. You are gaining. Spirit is giving you clarity. Ten of Pentacles, your family. <laughs> a, a Leo, I mean, a Earth sign could be significant. A Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And this karmic family could be significant. Look, look at you, the chosen one, the golden child, the sun seed, child of Ra. And with this yellow energy, you could be the child, a child of Oshun. I'm picking a solar plexus too. Yeah, you could be a Leo. Look, this is what I'm saying, y'all. This is why your family has always been secretly intimidated. Look at this. It's the energy. That's what I was saying. It's your energy. It's your aura. It's, it's this light. I said it's this light that been instilled in you since you was a child. You have always... You have always walked around with this, this powerful aura, with this, like, people feel you. They feel your energy. People become intimidated of that, okay? And they fear it. They fear what they don't understand, all right? Like I said, with that sun card too, you are you are being awakened to clarity. The spirit is, has, is illuminating shit to you because for a lot of you, like I said, Secret, secret enemies. These, they were, they were too cowardly enough to tell you how they really feel, to tell you they really ain't fuck with you. They were scared to be your enemies. So they did all that fuck shit behind your back. Okay. They, they, they was your enemy behind your back, but in front of your face, they was your bestest friend. I'm hearing. Wow. It's just the fake, it's the fake energy for me. Like it's giving very much. It's giving very much uh, sick, like very much fake, very much two-faced. Okay, spirit, let me tap into this. Clarify inner child. Thank you. Knight of Cups. Oh, Nine of Swords. Wow. Wow, with this uh, Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, with, with the Nine of Swords, like I said, fake love, fake, fake love. You, when you were a child growing up with this karmic family, you, like I said, you experienced a lot of trauma, okay? You, it, it, it was, like I said, these people wore a mask. These people came in acting like one way, but they were they were really another. They was coming in acting like acting like the love they had for you was genuine. But like I said, these people are wearing masks. These were your secret enemies. This karmic family. All right. This love was toxic. This love had you had you in your head. They they made you feel like you wasn't worthy. They made you feel like you wasn't enough. Like you didn't belong. Clarify the Knight of Cups, Spirit. Clarify the Knight. I can't make this shit up. Four of Wands in the reverse. 
that you you grew up in a in an upright. This is uh this is stability. This is a stable ho household. This is stability. This is the twin flame card too. But this is in reverse. This is what I'm picking up. That you grew up in an unstable, unbalanced household. You grew up like I said in a in a family full of dysfunctional karmics. Okay, that they, they love was toxic. This family was toxic. This family was dysfunctional. The love they showed you was fake. The love, the love they had for you was toxic. This family is just toxic. Clarify, invite help, spirit. Clarify, invite help. Clarify, invite help. Yeah. Tower moment. Okay, so for some of you here, what I'm picking up, some of you here, I feel like you've been praying. You you've been you been you've been praying, you've been asking. Rather it's your angels, your an your ancestors, your spirit guides, God, whoever you resonate with. You've been You've been praying for some type of Judah, some type of uh, justice because because of all the injustices, someone could want to apologize to you too. You could have received an apology for someone. Uh, a water sign don't have to be, but for all the injustices you experienced as a child, all the shit this karmic family put you through. Okay, I'm hearing some, someone has been praying. You've been praying. For uh for justice. You've been praying for God to illuminate this to you. You've been praying for clarity and you got it. Tower moment. Your karmic family is being judged. They they going through karma too. They going through karma too. They been judged and they now that now they sorry. They sorry now because God God showed up and showed out. You God's child. God is, is fucking your karmic family up. What I'm seeing here in this card, someone can experience a house fire or you could have heard some news about a house fire. Somebody could have lost a house. Someone could have been in a flood. But yeah, the, the tower is here. You've been praying for a change. You've been praying... You've been praying for some type of interve yeah, intervention, divine intervention. God intervened. God intervened because God sees all. He sees all. He he's seen what these karmic these karmic fans. He's seen their true intentions. He's seen the way they treated you when you was growing up. All the childhood trauma that they caused you. Just because who you are, just because God put the light inside of you, just because He chose you. And this karmic family, instead of embracing you as a child, instead of embracing you, instead of honoring that and loving you and accepting you for the chosen child you were, they resented you. They were dysfunctional. They resented you. And they 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 do they, they 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 getting dealt with. They getting dealt with. Clarify the sour spirit. Clarify the Seven of Wands, you are highly protected. You always been protected. All, all the shit these current family members did to you, it never it you still it never really faced you. Like I said, God keep kept you you've been shielded since you came out the womb. Even while in the womb, you God still was protecting you. God already knew. God already knew what you was going to face with this karmic family before you, you was even born. For a lot of you, you was this karmic family judgment. I mean, justice. I mean, karma, my bad. Yeah, you was this, you was this karmic family karma. You could be a Libra. Clarify the tower spirit in the seven of wands. Yeah. Wow, yeah. This what I'm getting. You like with the these five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
these family members, they, they, they try to leave you out in a cold. For some of you, these family members, they could have, they wanted to see you down and out. They wanted to see you in poverty. They wanted to see you stuck. Okay. And for some of you, these family members, some of these Carmen family members, they took some type of action. They, they rather than when, okay, if someone did a spell, it ain't about just, it is, spells aren't just about lighting candles and seances and shit like that, okay? Someone speaking ill on your name, that's a spell right there. Someone gossiping about you, that's a spell right there. That's why it's called spelling. Everything you speak out of your mouth is a, is a considered a spell. That's why they say our words are very powerful. The words can manifest. So, and that's what I was I'm getting to. Like I said, these family members are very highly intimidated of you. So they would never do this shit in front of you. They, they would never talk about you in front of your face. They would never let you know how they really feel. They did it behind your back. But God has illuminated and awakened you to, to this. And they now they are going through it. The same shit they wished on you for all these years, trying to keep you, trying to keep you stuck. Wanting to see you fall, ain't want to see you ascend and wake up to who you are. Okay, it's coming back on their ass, and you have, and God is. I'm hearing God is is blessing you right in front of these people face with this Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning. Okay, and with this Six of Wands, this is all about success, public recognition. Uh, public reward. God is rewarding you. Okay. God is getting ready to bless you right in front of these motherfuckers. God is crowning you. He already crowned you. Okay. Now I'm hearing they, they really gonna have a reason to fucking be intimidated and fucking hate you. Because when you were a child, they had no reason to come against you. They had no reason to hate you as a pure, innocent child. But now that you are grown up and you know what you've been, God awakened you and gave you clarity on these this car, this fake ass karmic family. God is finna boss you up right in front of their face and show you and really show them, show them who you are. Show them, show them that you are yet yeah, you are indeed the chosen one. Okay, so expect a brand new passionate beginning. Expect, expect to walk into your life purpose leading others. Expect to be victorious. You, you, you are victorious. You defeated this karmic family. For some of you, this karmic family wanted to take you out. The hate, these motherfuckers hate you. They so envious. That's what the energy I'm picking up. Just so, give me some more energy on this kind of family spirit. Just so envious. Yeah. Some of you could, could have got some type of communication. What's this? Uh, some of you could have got some type of communication about someone losing a home, about someone with the five of wines we've seen. You could have found out some information about a family member losing a home, being in a flood, losing a job. Okay. Losing some type of uh, income for fucking with you. Yeah, because God God don't play about you. You could be a Taurus. This is Taurus energy. All right. Clarify the Eight of Wands spirit. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Wow. Yeah. You, you, you got, I feel, wow. A lot of you, okay. I feel like you guys got some type of information from someone. Rather, this was a download from spirit. Rather, this is someone that physically told you this. Uh, rather, this was your intuition. But you got some type of information. You got some type of download that, um, about this family, about this family, um, that's that's been trying to cost you chaos trying to cost you drama these i am i'm hearing too that these family members they are bitter and they are jealous because you you are you are going into this new beginning alone karmic free they are bitter and jealous that god has chosen you and blessed you with a new beginning 
Okay, and I feel like these yeah these karmic family members they they are gossiping. Okay, they are just so low vibrational. They wanted you to be stuck in a crowd with they ass stuck stuck in a bucket with them, stuck at the bottom with them. But God pulls you up out of that. Look victoriously, victoriously. Now the only thing they could do is sit sit back and gossip about you. Sit back and um and be and try to send you drama. Try to send you chaos try to send you conflict because they they bitter because they envious it, for a lot of your family members they been they with this six of cups yeah your family they they been envious a lot of your family and family been envious and jealous of you uh for a long time it's been deep they it's like you could feel like they have a personal vendetta against you like some type of it's crazy for some of you this happened in the past life this carrying over for some of you this carrying over. This is the Sister Cups. This past life energy. Uh, let me get a final message, Spirit. Final message for my Divine Collective. Final. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Justice. Justice. Karma. For this karmic family burdening you all your life. Because they were jealous, they were intimidated. Ever since you were a child, just because of the light God instilled within you, and you, you you was around low vibrational beings, low vibrational karmics that was being used, that was being used by low vibrating entities to come for you because you have a, a, a higher calling, you have a higher purpose. So you could expect justice. You could expect karma, okay? These motherfuckers gonna get karma for what they did to you. And you gonna be bossing up. You you bossing up right in front of their face. You could be an Aries. God is bossing you up, okay? And I just wanna say, I hope you guys got enlightenment. I hope uh, you guys got some gems. I hope I was able to help you guys, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Until next time, peace.